Hi there everybody, it's me again, your friendly dragon's daughter, been dragged through a hedge backwards, I hope you're all okay. Um, I was going to do a video earlier, um, apologies for not putting a video up yesterday, you thought you got away with it for not seeing this ugly mug um, for a day, but ha, I'm back bitches. But no, what happened was I, I was going to do it all and then I went shopping, then bumped into somebody that I met on Gay Pride in Totnes and we had a cup of coffee. We went, got chatting and everything and um, by the time I realised it was too dark and I was too tired to do it. So apologies there for not ruining your viewing time on YouTube. But anyway, so um, today I was going to do a video um, of the actual hedge that I drag myself backwards through every day for you lovely people. But a bus came along, so I thought, no, I'll get on the bus instead. So I went to Torquay, and um, length and breadth of Torquay. Could I find anything I wanted? Could I bog roll? So I just went and got my medication from Charleston and then back home again, and got chatting to a lovely lady on the bus, named Liz, um, whose birthday's day after mine, which was lovely, and we had a lovely chat on the bus and a giggle and whatnot, so um, that was nice. But anyway, today's Wednesday and it's very sunshiny, but a bit cool. But I've still got my, still I've got my cardio and I've got this gorgeous little pendant on, and it's a face. Look, so it's not just my face you've got today. You've got another face as well. So you've got two faces. I'm so sorry about the lips. They just just went a bit mad, and I couldn't be bothered to. Um, well, it's not couldn't be bothered. I couldn't. I didn't have the time to retouch and redo it all, so um, the lips look a bit, a bit massive, but hey, hey ho, loose lips sink ships and all that palaver. But anyway, so I hope you're all okay. Um, went into Torquay, as I said, um, bumped into the wonder, not bumped into, but saw the wonderful um, Mandy in, in the Torquay um, indoor market, um, and Millie Molly Mandy, she's got a little shop in there, which just does, um, um, a drop-in on a like a crafty drop-in on every Wednesday from half ten to half twelve. Um, you pay three quid and um, you sit there for a couple of hours, have a good natter and a laugh and a giggle and teas and coffees and biscuits and things. And um, and she sells bits and bobs for sewing. And um, if you need buttons, go and see her. And of course now at Christmas time as well, um, she does a wrapping service as well. So check her her website out. I'll I'll try and get the details and put it all down. She, she's a lovely woman, a beautiful friend. She's um, she's just such a laugh. She's a wonderful lady. So I popped in and saw her, had a bit of a giggle there, and there's other people there in the shop um, doing the crafty things. So she was having a natter about um, my part of my journey, as it were, which I have touched upon um, um, a couple of times before, um, but I will do again today on this video something to talk about and that is um, a heterosexual trans woman and um, basically a trans woman that likes straight men basically or like men um, I'm not talking about um, trans lesbians I'm not talking about trans women who who um, like trans men I'm talking about trans women who like cisgendered men um, I'm talking about um, how much how many guys that tried to get in touch with me as soon as, uh, when they found out that I, that I hadn't had the surgery, the bottom surgery, bottom half of the surgery, is basically triple what it, what it is now. Um, I still get guys getting in touch with me, um, but I know for a fact that I know what, the, the only reason that they are getting in touch with me is because it is a fetish um, to sleep with a trans woman and um, and I know that. So 99% of the guys that get in touch with me um, are looking for a fetish. And it is a fetish for most majority of men to sleep with a trans woman. Um, like I said, before I had my surgery, um, I had my boobs because, because of what they grew. I had my boobs, but I hadn't had my surgery. I used to get more guys getting in touch with them because that was more of a, more of a thrill for them um, to sleep with a non-op or pre-op trans woman. Or trans girl, and um, and they didn't see it as cheating because they didn't see me. I'm talking about me personally now, of course, because this is my channel. Um, of course, nobody else is, but um, 
um, they saw they saw me as a nun person, if that makes it makes sense. I was neither male nor female. I was the thingy in between, and they didn't see it as cheating if they slept with me. Um, which I think it is cheating, regardless if you sleep with anybody else, regardless if they're male, female, or trans, and you're in a relationship, uh, in, a, in a monogamous relationship, um, then uh, it's cheating regardless. So, um, but in the eyes of most guys, um, I think personally think I may be wrong, but um, the guys that I have spoken to in the past about all this, um, they didn't see it as cheating. And another thing is I was talking to Mandy today about it, um, and say maybe just maybe there is no there is no um, um, there's nothing on the but well, as far as I'm aware I haven't checked online or anything about it but as far as I'm aware there is no um, proof there is no controversial proof there is no um, there's no essays done on it or anything like that but I feel that guys who want to try out a trans woman that's how they put it not me they do that's what the guys say i want to try you out as if i was a flaming bicycle or a brand new car in in a showroom no so um not on your nelly kenny i'm telling you no this is not a bicycle not a bicycle not a parish bike or whatever it's to call it but anyway so um but i actually came out with it today um with Mandy and she said we'll talk about it do do a video about it so th this is it um, I personally think that the guys that want to be with a trans woman um, it's the step in between being being with a woman or being with a man if you could get well I, I don't know if, if I'm putting, putting this out um, out properly um, the, the, this is just my thoughts alone now so um, I personally think that um, not all men not all I've done, I understand this not all men but men that do sleep with trans women I want to be with a trans woman um, I don't, no, no no I've, I've got rewind 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 not be with a trans woman but I think sleep with a trans woman or have sex with a trans woman seeing a trans woman as a sexual object um, as a fetish um, it is a safe area for them um, so they don't have to come to terms with the facts that they might be bisexual or if there is such a thing um, a lot of people they go yes and some people say no there isn't um, because I don't know I really don't know um, um, who, who, who am I to turn around and say no? You are wrong because you label, you know, you see yourself as a, a, partic a particular gender or a, a sexuality. It's not down to me to say no. You are not. So, um, but, um, but anyway. So yes. So going back to, and that's what I personally think is the fact that um, the guys that do like do want what a, fet fet a fetish. Um, fetish yeah um, have a fetish about trans women especially with no, none of or pre of trans women that means they haven't had the surgery or don't want the surgery but they have the boob and they look feminine um, that they can't that they don't um, that they don't have to come to uh, um, face the fact that they might be gay I'm not saying that they are gay but it takes away that little thing um there's a guy i've been talking to for oh gosh for over a year maybe well I've, I've he started talking to me before my surgery and um then we lost touch and got back in touch with me again and he keeps telling me that he's gay and but he likes trans women um both pre and post-op so he likes trans women and he's like oh well, i'm not gay am i Tony? i'm not gay am i it's not the fact that he's gay it's the fact that he is not comfortable being himself personally that's that's what i think so uh, and um i don't mind if if a guy wants to be with me because he he can't come to, to terms with the fact that he finds another male um sexually attractive um 
I don't mind that, just, just as long as he doesn't act out on that. Um, Well, that sounds too needy, doesn't it? Oh, I don't, I don't care. I don't care if you fancy somebody else as long as you don't, as long as you're with me. Oh, I'm not on that at all. It's just what, I, what I'm trying to say is, um, if a guy finds another guy sexually attractive but is too scared uh, or, or too traumatizing, it, because it can be very traumatizing that being in in a certain relationship in a certain situation. And then all of a sudden, what? Um, all, all, not all of a sudden, but all these feelings keep bubbling up, and you keep keep suppressing them and all of a sudden they actually come up to the you know come up to the forefront and um, then you have to face them um, if being with me doesn't make makes them not face that then all well and good just as long as he he is happy to be with someone like me then that's fine but um, it's a very complex thing uh, um, because apparently society sees um, a guy that's with a trans woman as being gay, because a lot a lot of society still see trans women as men, and it still happens, and um, it still happens. But that's down to society to sort itself out. It's down to us to live our lives with our heads held high and be our fabulous gorgeous big bold beautiful trans people and that's who we are and yeah to <laughs> bye bye felicia if you don't like it basically so um but going back to the trans uh, um guys liking trans women um majority of guys will use try to use us for just for sex um that has happened to me and I put a stop to it um, after I had my enjoyment of course of course but um, it does happen so that's one thing we as trans women have to be um, careful of and wary of is um, guys using us for um, as a sexual thing because they still see us as um, as sexual objects um, more than they see women as and the reason being is for the sex and porn industry because a lot of trans women, um, a lot of guys I've met, uh, you know, I sound like a tart, don't I? But I haven't slept with all of them. No, I haven't. Um, but um, I think it's only one I've slept that told me that. Simba, what are you doing? Simbi! Simbi! What are you doing? What are you doing? And leave stuff alone, you. He's in the kitchen, he thought I was out, he thought I was away. He's just such a naughty boy, I'm going to smack him in a minute, smack his bum. But anyway, no, um, the one guy that I did see, and I kept seeing and seeing and seeing and seeing and seeing, and um, he's the only one that I know of that's actually been open about it, that told me that he has been watching a porn with trans trans women in it, and... Um, and he did say to me that he wanted to try one out and I basically succumbed to his chance and um, saw each other for 18 months and then we lost touch and then we saw each other again for another three months and this is one I finished with in March because I wanted more than what he did. He said, well, yes, at the moment, Tony. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to, I'm 55 years old. You know, I'm not going to wait around for somebody making their bloody mind if they want to be with me or not. If they want to be with me, be with me. If not, bye-bye. You know, so if it's just sex, tell me. You know, so uh, at least I know where I stand. Don't, don't mess me about. And, and that's, that's what majority of guys will do um, with trans women. And especially if you're pre op They've got this thing about what they say themselves and what is being said out there called lady boys and um, you know the the, the Thai trans uh, trans people that that do all the dancing and stuff they call themselves lady boys um, all because of that and um, see so just trying to fathom out a person whether whether male female trans non-binary, sapiophile, scoliophile, um, bisexual, whatever, um, trying to work someone, trying to work an individual out, 
is just nigh on impossible sometimes because nine times out of ten they don't know what they want themselves and that is the issue I think with the guys and trans girls women because even though they want to be with a trans woman and that's what they like they are, they are too scared of what society thinks of them and I think that is so wrong because you know be with whoever you want to be uh, be whoever you want to be um, society hates trans people um, not all society does um, some parts of society do um, they say that um, you know that they don't like um, that we have no room in society and um, but trans trans people have been a part of society for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years and um, we were once seen as um, the um, well, two spirits, basically twin spirits, um, um, in 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 the uh, American Indian um, 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 in American Indian um, law, uh, law uh, L O R E, not law as in L A W, um, but um, seen as, as as twin spirits or two spirited because um, we we encapsulate both male and female, masculine and feminine, and they see us as. Um, as a thing in between um, the gods and themselves um, so, so, so they do revere trans people or two spirits um, twin spirit people um, um, very much because of that um, there was one that was born male and wore female garb um, 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 as a trans basically, basically a trans woman um, no not of course in those days um, um, what uh, met uh, Queen Victoria, I come over and met Queen Victoria um, as a female, um, born male but dressed as a female, as a female squaw. Um, met Queen Victoria, um, I'll, I'll find out more about that. I'm going to look more into um, all this trans and if, you know, um, I've, I've, I've covered a little bit about, about um, in China and how they are treated and everything, they're treated as. Um, as ogres um, and, and a pariah and everything and um, that's how it used to be in this country it's getting better now I think but only because um, people say always because of all um, of all the work that like people like, like the um, LGBTQ plus community have done and Ten Seagans Trust and blood places things like that and charities like you know it's the challenges like that nine times out of ten I think it's down to the individual that live in a, in a community that has to put up with the crap, excuse the language, has to put up with the crap from both males and females. Um, and we and show that we are not ogres. We we don't demand to be treated differently. We don't, um, well, I don't anyway. I don't demand to be treated differently. I don't demand to be um, respected. Um, as soon as I walk in through the shop, I don't want people fawning and bowing and scraping and everything like that and call me. I'm not into all that. Well, of course we all are, really. But um, I haven't got the money for all that. But um, no, in, in seriousness, um, what what people, uh, the LGBTQ plus community, have done for us um, has, made, has made it easier. But we have to take into account the people that are on the front line, as it were, um, that are living in a society where being trans is seen as was well, at one point akin to being like a paedophile um, which is horrendous even being gay was seen as being that in the 80s um, in certain parts of the country um, if you were gay you were a paedophile you, you, uh, you know it's, it's just horrendous and of course um, people today youngsters today don't even understand that the, the things that people have to go through um, which um, people, the, the things even I as a gay boy um, had to go through um, in the 80s until um, I moved to London it was more accepted in London because London is more cosmopolitan blah 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 and um, do you know it's just ridiculous all you know the, the things that people used to say um, about, about being gay and if you were gay you were um, 
well, if 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 there was um, there was a couple of famous, I can't remember the names now. Um, this was in the early eighties um, before I moved to London. Um, about 81, 82. Um, he used to act on Coronation Street decades ago, decades and decades ago. And that's how old I'm going back. That's how long I'm going back. And apparently, he he was he was charged with um, well, he killed himself. About I think, if I remember rightly, he he um, he was arrested for uh, messing around with young boys. And of course, all come out of that. All gay men mess around with young boys. Blah blah blah. And that's how it was. And that's what gay, 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 gay people had to put up with in those days. And it was horrible. It really was awful. It was why you look at uh, why you're saying this, why you're doing that. Blah, oh, what's the reason why you're doing that? And it was always being questioned. If you were gay, you were questioned more about stuff than anything else. And um, and of course nowadays it's just part of life, isn't it? And um, being trans is part of life. But it has been akin to being a pedophile, um, being gay, akin to being a pedophile, and being trans, akin to being a pedophile. So it is um, much better. And the people in, 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 in these um, societies and charities that help with, with trying to change the laws and things, which I think is absolutely marvellous, and it gets us a step closer for, um, for being who we really are. And, um, but we still have to put a shout out to the individuals out there that are coming to terms with being trans and literally saying to society and to the world, saying, look, hey, this is who I am. I am trans. Take it or leave it. Um, I mean, a, lot of, a lot of people will leave it. Nowadays, not as many nowadays that used to, but a lot of people still would leave it. But be who you are and don't let um, anyone use you for that. Um, back in the 80s, uh, early 80s, being gay, people used you um, for being gay because um, because they want to keep it quiet and they didn't want, didn't want to be seen as being gay. And it's the same now with, with trans, being trans. So um, I was talking to Mandy and in one day, and this is no lie, in one day, and I, I took a photo of it, in one day before my surgery, I had 150 guys trying to chat to me and trying to get with me, this is no lie. And I still get, I, st I still get loads of guys uh, trying to chat me up and everything online um, because they won't, they won't do it um, out when, if, if, and, if and when I'm out and whatever. Um, because they're too scared of what society says, and that is that is a sad state of affairs that you cannot be with with somebody who who you really want to be with, and so, you know it really is sad. And um, I think the world needs to. Um, I, I think society needs to respect everybody for who they are, um, not what they are. And that's the main thing. People get who and what mixed up. Who I am is an individual, is a person, a kind-hearted, animal-loving person. What I am is a trans woman. Um, my being trans woman, my being trans is not a big issue. My being trans is not a huge part of my, of my life. It's, it's, it's a part of my life. It's a part of who I am. Everything I've gone through, good and bad, from the day I was born up until today, has made me the person I am today. And for every other good and bad, I thank, I thank everyone for it because they've shaped me, shaped me for for who I am today, of good or bad, good or bad. And um, and that is same with each and every one of us, whether we're trans or not. It's what we've gone through in life shapes us and uh, makes us who we are today. And it does make us stronger. Um, if if you have um, if you've had a, a bad childhood, um, and builds you up and um, makes you, and, and you do get stronger, and um, and that's what you do each day. You you fall back on on your past and um, learn from it and look back. Don't bring it with you. Leave it where it is, where it is, and um, look back at it and just say, well, this is how far I've become. This is how far I've come on my journey. And regardless of who you are, regardless, anybody is watching this, do that. And just look back and think, say, where you were five years ago to where you are, where you are today. And it could be just a small thing, but it doesn't matter. It's still significant regardless. 
and everything from five years ago up until today has made you who you are today, um, whether good or bad. And um, yes, so um, be careful out there. Um, uh, guys guys will, will will use us um, will use us trans, but if you know where you are with them then that's fine. If you know that they're going to use you, if you know that, that you are being used just as a sexual object, then by all means go for it and enjoy yourself. But be wary that most of them are not really into relationship. They just, um, it'll, it, it will be just sexual. Um, you might be lucky and find the love of your life um, from the first guy ever you meet, um, you just don't know. We never know. We, we're not, none of us know that. And um, you know, but hey. Anyway, I've got to go in because um, it's getting cool outside. I thought I'll do it in the um, as it's getting darker because um, I, I've been told that this face is better to be looked at in the dark. So, <laughs> but there you go. But anyway, so yes, so. Um, Still can't remember what I've just talked about. I know it was about guys using trans women, and um, so just be careful of that. Um, just as long as you know, if, if, if you understand and you come to an understanding with the person, um, what you, you know, what, um, just as long as you know where you stand with them, enjoy, literally enjoy yourself um, and have fun. And that's, and that's the only thing you can do. And just 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 be careful of your emotions because um i've had a couple of um episodes where my emotions got involved um too much well i'm a very emotional person so i um, got involved too much too soon and i scared them away so hey ho hey ho and never ever ever um what was i gonna say Um, oh yeah, never change yourself for anybody. Um, one guy wanted me to get rid of my dogs um, in order to have a relationship with him. Um, I ended up get, getting rid of him and having getting another dog. So, so um, don't make them change you. That's what I was going to say. Don't change for somebody else. Change for yourself and for you only. Um, if they say that they want to change you and they want you to be a certain way, show them the door. Say bye bye, Felicia. Well, I'm bringing that back again now. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, and it's the same with um, if if you're a trans lesbian. Um, if 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 the women you are seeing they're using you and they want you to change, say no, no. Just be you and um, be you. And that's it. Be happy. Be you. And um, just as long as you know where you stand with the with the person, regardless of who they are. Um, just as long as you know where you stand with them. Um, then you'll be fine. Whereas with me, I was like, oh, you know, I'd like to, you know, I'd be so happy if I found a boyfriend half as nice as you. And you'd say, oh, well, I could be your boyfriend. And, and nothing came of it. So um, broken hearted. But hey, hey, it was an experience, wasn't it? So and I enjoyed it. Well, I, I enjoyed his company while it happened. So, so that's the main thing, I suppose. But anyway, look, I've got to go. I'm waffling on again now. I've got to go. I'm getting cold and... Um, well, I think the dogs, well, I think it's Simba it's just ruining the house again as per. But anyway, so speak to you soon and thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And please share, 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 share. And, and if you think that, um, if you think that um, this video will help anybody, even one person, by all means, just, um, just share. To share and and tell them all all about uh, all about it. All right then. Thank you. Bye bye.